Today's video involves high-tech and low-tech content. It involves uh, our battle we've been waging against raccoons. It starts with this guy, the lovely outdoor stray cat who adopted us a couple years ago when we built uh, this deck and put a door about 10 feet away from this refrigerator. Now he's smart enough to know there's food in this refrigerator. So he has now become an indoor-outdoor cat that's become dependent on us for food. So the problem is when we go on vacation, we don't have a way of putting food down. It's not for you, it's for him. Uh, when we put food out, there's a fleet of bottomless raccoons that come and eat all the food at night before this guy gets to have any. So the low-tech, I'm trying to lure him outside. Here he comes. The low-tech part of the solution is this. It's a platform that is tall enough to be out of reach of raccoons and uh, short enough that cats can uh, leap up there. Now it's a little bit rickety, but hungry enough cats, they don't seem to care. So it's about uh, $15 worth, hello, it's up there. Fifteen dollars worth of parts, uh, cheap one and a quarter inch inside diameter PVC tubing. A little bit of duct tape makes for a nice snug fit in the standard size umbrella holes. And then a little metal adapter, a piece of wood, some duct tape, and you're good to go. Now the high tech part of this involves, not surprisingly, uh, wireless cloud-based infrared enabled um, net cam with fancy duct tape. Oh, it's gonna make its leap. Cats are pretty fearless when it comes to heights, even on a rickety platform. So that doesn't really bother him much. The, the dog would have an issue with that, but it's not his food. The net cam I'm using is called Fleur FX. They just started shipping last week. It's very similar to the more established drop cam. What distinguishes this camera is a software trick they call Rapid Recap. They license it from a company called Briefcam. So it's a really clever trick that allows you to condense up to eight hours of video down to just a minute or two of video that you can quickly review. It uses those floating timestamps to follow each person around. So the same person shows up in multiple places, but the timestamp allows you to see which activity is of interest. Then you can use that <clears throat> to go back to the original video clips, which are stored up in the cloud as well, and see that in more detail. It's really clever and a lot of fun. Check out that spider in the lower left. That infrared is really, really effective. So you can see the cat wandering around at various times throughout the night, except when the raccoons show up at about 4.55 a.m. Uh, there's a husband and wife raccoon team there, and the husband is just tall enough that he wreaks havoc on the original version of this platform. Now I've switched to the, the detailed version, the original video clip, and you can see uh, it's interesting that when that light comes on, the motion detection enabled light, the, the raccoons don't even flinch. I, I thought that would scare them away, but no, they don't care. So this raccoon's tall enough that he can just reach up to the uh, food and just paw his paw the food out but he's more ambitious, he wants more. So he's trying to get that right hind leg up on the platform so that he can go up and own the food. And after about an hour of trying, he eventually does that. And he gets up there and he gobbles up all the food. So uh, we had to do a change. So the next night, I raised the platform up uh, four inches. Or it's a total height of 25 inches. And I put the food been up on a, like a seven inch uh, plastic bucket. So now he's totally defeated and he runs home in shame. Well, one other cat feeding tip, birds, especially magpies, also love cat food. So we kind of lucked out on this solution. We have a solar sail which is put up for shade. It's just a special tarp that's got tension on the four corners that helps it slough off wind, rain, and a little bit of snow. But it's close enough to the top of this bird feeder, uh, cat feeder, sorry, cat feeder, that the birds don't feel comfortable um, landing there. So since I've gotten that up high enough, we haven't had any troubles with the birds um, eating the cat food. Conclusions. Raccoons vanquished. 
at least until they bring their engineers in and topple my tower down. Uh, on the Fleur FX camera, there are better reviews out there. I'll put some links to those in the um, blog posts. But basic conclusions are that uh, rapid recap software trick is really compelling. It's a clever way to review a lot of video quickly. Uh, second big advantage is, unlike almost all the other uh, cloud-based camera platforms out there, they offer a zero-fee um, service where they'll store up to two days of uh, video clips for free. Unfortunately, that only gets you three of those fun rapid recap videos per month. So you probably don't want to, at least you probably want to spring for the next service plan, which is ten dollars a month, similar to all the other companies. And that'll get you uh, seven uh, days of video clip storage and unlimited rapid recaps. One of the disadvantages with the way the software works now is the rapid recaps you have to manually specify. So you pick which eight hour period you want, push a button and it submits it off to a machine and a minute or two later it comes back with the video. It's not done automatically. A second disadvantage is uh, I think a temporary one. The, it doesn't currently work with the latest Android, Android 5.0. It worked fine with Android 4 devices. but and on the Apple iOS platforms. I'm sure they'll get that ironed out. <clears throat> so um, for now, it's really good, really good setup. I imagine other companies will follow suit uh, with that software trick because it's so compelling. But until they do, these guys have a corner on the market. Highly recommended. Uh, that's it for now. Until next time.